M0FXB, welcome to my channel. Let's show you how to set up the Pocket RX TX Pro version on the Android phone to the Yaesu 817 or 818, and I'll set the board rate to number 9600, and that is menu number 14. We'll hold down the F, menu 14. Let's show you the connection. I've got my dongle at the back. You can see it flashing red. This is what the dongle looks like. They're about 20 pound on eBay, Amazon and they're advertised as a cat to Bluetooth adapter converter for Yaesu radios. Fits quite a few models there. Now the connector, the dongle, actually connects to the ACC. Now be very careful that you get the arrow at the top and you don't plug it into the data because it's not data. Okay, so that's where you plug it and it starts to flash and you pair it with your phone. So I'll show it pairing on my phone. So swipe down hold finger on Bluetooth and then it comes up as FBT06 on my Bluetooth device but obviously there are different ones you can buy it might have a different number and then just tap it and it will pair okay and once you've got it paired back out then you need to download the app just go to the Play Store and search Pocket RX TX and I've gone for the Pro version it might work on the free version I haven't tried that yet but anyway and then you want to be looking at Bluetooth pairing. See, you can search. Now, it's already found mine. There it is there. FBT06 and connect. Now, let's just let's just make sure we select the correct radio down here. It says Yesu FT818. It does do other radios. Look, you've got Icom Yesu. I have selected online before and it finds all these different makes, okay? Now, this also can be used as a method of connecting via uh, your network. Now, that's not in this video. But anyway, there it is there, and it does all that, so save, connect. Right, so now we're gonna, let's, let's turn up the radio so we can hear it. Now, it might not work first time, you might have to disconnect a couple of times. It did lock up on me a couple of times, so just bear that in mind, it's, nothing's perfect. So now we'll go start. Like so now to make it connect, you have to hold down this red button here. And, And it's now connected, so let's turn it, turn this round. You can see the frequency changing. You can type a frequency. Let's just back out. Got to remember how to back out now. Oh, it's set to the lowest frequency. But there is a band button. Let's go to band, which is here. 40. It's one of my favorite band. And we can tune. You can see it. it's hard to see, but it is changing on the radio. You've got, you can save things to the memory. There's friends there messaging me. Mode. Nothing really, ah, oh, there it is there. Mode, USB, LSB. It does PTT. Now, it's, sometimes it can get a bit glitchy when I'm trying out different functions. You've got functions one to four. Is that the correct time? Yeah, it looks like the correct time to me. Is that mute? That could be the mic. I haven't used that. Does that lock the frequency? No, so I don't actually know what that is. PTT seems to PTT. I haven't used the memory. Let's hold it down. Click OK. Let's try again. Memory one. Hold it down. Oh, you can name it. Uh, we'll name it 40. 40 like so. Go done. Click OK. Look, it's called 40 now. And then if we go from that memory to that memory, let's just move it away from the memory. Then tap the memory. Yeah, it's gone straight back to the memory. Seems to work. I'm doing the volume on the actual device at the moment. That's frequency up and down. You've got an S meter here. Power. Can't see anything changing. Oh, here it is. Sorry, I'm pushing, I'm tapping the wrong part. It says one watt. Tap it. Six watt. Hopefully it is. Attenuator. You're not really seeing what you're doing on the screen of the radio. It says a memory tune there. Antenna front and rear. I would I would say that's not changing. Maybe that changes when you if you disconnect. So like it's, it, you know the fact the app was about a fiver, 
So I've had some fun tinkering with it. So check it out, link in the description. Bye for now, 7-3.